God's rejection was for your protection. He hid your value to expose these fakes. I'm going to say it again. I say God's rejection was for your protection. He hid your value to expose these Decepticons. Understand, understand. And you always wondering why they betrayed you. Why they turned their back on you. And why they left you hanging. You know why? Because God will reject what's not for you. He will take that no good thing that wasn't meant for you and he will replace it with a good thing. Understand what I'm saying? God, he doesn't make mistakes. God is always right. Trust me. You may not understand it right now, but you'll understand it better by and by. It took me four years to realize this shit. I've been single for four fucking years. Understand what I'm saying? In a relationship for seven years. Why did she leave my side? It was all God's rejection. God had to do it to me in order to get me to that next level. Understand what I'm saying? You're looking at me crazy right now, but guess what? I'm speaking straight facts. Think about it. Nothing just happens. I'm going to say it again. Nothing just happens. Everything happens for a fucking reason. Everything. No matter what the situation is, it happened for a particular reason. Just think about it. There's always a story behind it. But God will restore you like the betrayal never happened. You guys got to watch my pre previous videos, man. You guys have to watch them because we're on part of about 150 right now. And I'm on fire. I'm sizzling hot, baby. I need you guys to share this video, man. Because this one's about to be real hot. I need you guys to like, comment, 1111 below if you're looking for financial blessings this week, baby. Because we're not waiting to 2022. I need everybody to comment 1111 if you really believe in 1111. Because I've been seeing 1111 everywhere and God is getting ready to move. I need everybody to subscribe to my channel. You need to thank God for rejecting what was not good for you. Instead of questioning God, you need to get on your bended knees and thank him. Because guess what? It made you a better person. It made you a better man and it made you a better woman. Understand, understand. And if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side... I promise you, you would not be here right now. I would not be telling this stuff to you tonight. Don't be afraid to walk this walk alone. If God bring you to it, baby, guess what? Best believe he gonna get you through it. We've been man doing for a night. But I promise you, man, 120% guarantee that joy gonna come in the morning. I promise. You know how many nights I've cried? You know how many times I wanted to throw in the towel? You know how many times I want to tell Lord, look, I had enough. But I kept my composure. I remain humble. Because I know I said, Lord, this, this can't be it right now. Trust me. If you have somebody... To walk out on you just straight. Just say, you know what? I'm out of here. I don't want no part of it. And now you, you're out in the woods. You're by your motherfucking self. And you're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? That's like being left in the woods. Understand what I'm saying? People are going to always betray you because they see greatness in you. I used to walk with my friends all the time. Even when I was a kid, I was walking with my friends all the time. And guess what? Every time I walk with them, they end up leaving me. On some weird shit. We at the store chilling, buying snacks and buying drinks, getting ready to go back to the crib and just chill. 
I come out the story, the motherfucker is gone. Understand where I'm coming from, baby. You have to know that God's rejection was for your protection, man. He hid your value to expose these fakes. And you want to call yourself cool. You want to call yourself going back and being cool and hanging out with the homies and hanging out with my sisters. And these motherfuckers left you in the first place and you want to go back. So you want to call yourself cool. But let me tell you something, Mr. and Mrs. Cool. Only person I'm hanging out with is Jesus, baby. I can do bad all by myself. And as long as I got King Jesus, baby, I don't need nobody else. You can go ahead and walk for me if you want to. You understand what I'm saying? You can go ahead and talk about me if you want to. I'm not even tripping no more. Because the God I serve, he had never talked to talk about me. He had never leave me, nor he will forsake me. And you best believe that, baby. God's plans is always of good and not of evil. Understand what I'm saying, baby. And that's just real talk. And you know I know how his plans is always good and not of evil because I've been living for 30 fucking years. And I never, ever, ever been ceased that God amazed me. He never ceased to amaze me, which means he never disappointed me. Never. I never seen God turn his back on me. I promise you. It was some things I deserved and it was some things I didn't deserve. But God been with me the whole time. I promise you, baby. I'm Joseph. Just wait. Just wait and see. Oh, just taste and see that the Lord is good to me, baby. I'm telling you, I'm like Joseph. I'm waiting to get my coat of many colors. You guys just wait. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come, baby. I need everybody to comment 11, 11 below right now. I need everybody to subscribe to this channel and I need everybody to please share this video because somebody going to say, what must I do to be saved, baby? And you can't get mad uh, for God's rejection. You can't get upset with God. Sometimes we might question him and sometimes we might be really, really upset because we don't know what the hell is going on. But I'm here to tell you what's going on. God's rejection was for your protection, baby. He had to hear your value. Do you know you were chosen? Do you know you were king? And do you know you were queen? Come on now. Why do you think people leave you in the first place? Because there's so much greatness on you. The anointing that destroys every yoke is all up on you, baby. They can't touch you. I understand where I'm coming from. And when people get intimidated by being in your presence, when they get intimidated by you glowing in their presence, when they get intimidated, guess what they do? They're going to betray you, baby, because it's too much to handle. Sometimes the chosen ones, we just too real for people. We got to stay in our own comfort zone because when we get around people, they go feel our presence, baby, whether they like it or not, baby. We ain't got to say a mumbling motherfucking word. All we got to do is walk in the room and we here, baby. So don't get don't get upset with God. Because he really protected you. That's how much he loved you. I told myself, I can't get mad at you, Lord, because I knew it was for my protection. The odds were against me, guys. I'm not lying to y'all. It was a lot of people against me, said a lot of shit about me, man, and everybody was believing this shit. But let me tell you something. God will restore you just like he restored me, baby. Like the betrayal never happens, baby. I got a new mind. <laughs> I got a new spirit. I have a new soul. All former, all former things are passed away. I understand what I'm saying? Because God had created me in a clean heart. He renewed the right spirit within me. He made me a new creature. I promise you, I see change all in me, baby. And guess what? I'm not going back for nobody else because I know how hard it got just to get here, baby. Shout out to my subscribers, baby, because we on our way to the mountaintop. I need everybody to subscribe because, baby, when we get to the mountaintop, we're going to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Like I said once before, I take no credit. I take no credit. I give all glory to God. And that's real facts. And if you guys want to be a blessing, because I definitely believe in sowing seeds. If you guys feel like being a blessing to my YouTube channel. If God really moves on your heart and if these messages and these videos resonate with your spirit, feel free to bless me with a cash app.
is God will provide three zero. Once again, my cash app is God will provide three zero. My PayPal is God will provide three zero. Once again, my PayPal is God will provide three zero. The same as my cash app. It will also be in the description below. That's if God leads you to be a blessing, baby. Understand what I'm saying? Because when I give, I give from the heart. My intuition tells me to give. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. I always follow my first mind and I always go with my heart. You hear the ambulance, don't you? People are dropping like flies. And we praying for the ones that are really going through it right now. We praying for the bereaved families. We praying for people that lost loved ones. We're praying. But I, I need you guys to, to really hear what I'm about to say. People are dropping like flies. We don't have no time for hating. We don't have no time for jealousy. We don't have no time for envy. I want to live this life, baby. I made it to 30 years old and I'm trying to make it to 100 and something years old by the grace of God, baby. I want to live a long time. Understand what I'm saying? We here for a good time, but we really not here for a long time. As 11-11 just passed, I need everybody to comment 11-11 because guess what? We are looking for new beginners, baby. You hear that, right? That's the police. I'm telling you guys, we're living in our last days. It's problems everywhere. It's, it's all kind of problems we don't even see. But thank God for his grace and his mercy and his protection. I'm telling you, God's ha God had to expose these fakes. You guys not even listening to me. Think about it. He reject that no good thing that wasn't for you, right? To protect you because he knew you was the chosen one, right? He had to hear your value because guess what happened if he would have showed him your value, baby? They would have really hated you then. They would have really tried to tear you apart. So God made it seem like <laughs> you were the underdog. <laughs> All alone, you're the chosen one. <laughs> Don't tell me what God won't do. I understand what I'm saying right now. He hid your value and made it seem like you was the underdog. All along, you were the chosen one and they don't even know. You owe that man a hallelujah praise and a shout. I don't care if you in your kitchen. I don't care if you in your dining room. I don't give a damn if you in the den. You owe that man a shout and a thank you. Trust me, I done cried out plenty of times because I know what he is up to, baby. But let me tell you something, chosen ones. When you're chosen, you have to remain humble. Yes, God gonna make you the center of attention. He gonna, he gonna make you the spotlight, but you have to remain humble. I prayed this morning. I said, Lord, you keep me. Lord, you, you don't let me change, God. In the name of Jesus, I said, Father God, you wash my mind, wash my spirit, wash my heart, Father God. Created me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me, Father God. I said, Lord, help me to remain humble. Come on now. Let's keep it real. The first thing God loves about us is when we acknowledge him and we acknowledge our faults. I said, Lord, I need you to humble me and keep me humble. Because people are watching. Excuse me. And the enemy going to try to use everybody around you. Because you are chosen. <laughs> so just know that God hid your value, man. When they say, what is his, what is his net worth? Or what is the chosen one's net worth? There is no net worth. That's how valuable that's how valuable are to God. Baby, you more than a net worth. They don't even know. They thought you was an underdog. They, excuse me. They thought you was a failure. Get out of my voice, devil. They thought you was a failure. They thought you were gonna work a nine to five for the rest of your life. Flipping burgers, taking orders through the drive through That's exactly what I did. I said, God, I know you're going to make a way out of this. I can't do this shit no more. I'm just keeping 100 with y'all. 
my back hurting, I, my, my knees is locking. Come on now. My neck feel like it can't move when I move this way and I move this way. The devil is a liar. I said, Lord, I know you got something better, better for me. It would have been a little bit different if they would have raised me up. But still, these people didn't want to see me win. But they want you to work like a dog. That's why I'm telling you guys, go for your dreams and goals. If you decide to work a nine to five, I'm not saying don't work because you got to have, you got to provide a living. Trust me. I did it for 14 years straight. That's why I can tell you what's going on out here. I've seen it all at a very young age. Go for your dreams and goals. What are you living for? We're not fucking living just to fucking work a nine to five and die and say Bye. Fuck that shit. Let me tell you something that's 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 more than money. Let me tell you that's worth way more than money. Your motherfucking time. You can't get time back. Of course you can get that paycheck back. Fuck that paycheck. Go for your dreams and goals. You're going to be so happy. When you start your dreams and goals, it's not going to be peaches and cream when you first start off. Understand what I'm saying. I start off with three subscribers. God said, keep putting these videos out. I'm putting video after video after video and only got three subscribers. God said, just keep putting them out. You got to start somewhere to get somewhere. You got to crawl before you walk. Don't you go to that nine to five and work eight hours and take your ass home and don't work another eight hours on yourself. God gonna give you the strength. You gotta get up out of there. Fuck the manager. Fuck the assistant manager. Fuck the motherfucking shift leader. Get the fuck out of there and go for your dreams and goals. Because if God blessed me with my dreams and goals, he gonna do the same thing for you. But it gotta be your dream. It can't be nobody else's dream. That's real talk. See, people are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go for my dreams and goals. Oh, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to go for this dream. But they end up copying somebody else's dream. God ain't going to bless you like that because it's not your dream. Why would you want to do what somebody else do when well, you could do what you what you best at doing for your goddamn self? I always want to be a motivational speaker. I always want to speak to the world. Trust me. I've been doing this since I was a kid, baby. Watch my previous videos. Because I know what God instilled in me since a little boy. And that's to tell the truth. They're not going to like it when I'm telling the truth. Oh, I'm going to get hated. Trust me, I am. People are going to hate me and envy me even more. Even more jealousy coming at me. But guess what, baby? If God is for me, who can be against me, baby? If WTC, WTC gang backing me up, can't nobody be against me, baby? I'm not even tripping. Yeah, we the chosen ones. And yeah, we might be outnumbered. But guess what, baby? As more and more chosen ones coming to their senses, because I've seen many comments. If you want to be a part of the WTC game, which means we the chosen ones, I dare you to type 1111 below. I'm going to get with you. I dare you to type 1111 below. I'm going to really get with you. Because guess what? God got a plan and God got a vision for the WTC game, baby. I'm the leader of the pack, baby. And you, if you rolling with me, we going to the mountaintop. We not setting for this weak ass shit no more. We ain't selling for these whack ass nine to fives. The boss would never pay to be your own motherfucking neighbor. He would not pay to be his motherfucking neighbor. Be your own motherfucking neighbor. Start your own business. Be your own motherfucking boss. That's the motivation I'm giving. Fuck all this other soft shit. Fuck time I work a nine to five and oh my god, you guys can do it. You work at Walmart? Oh wow, the sky's the limits. Fuck that shit. Go get this motherfucking bag and become your own motherfucking boss. God gave you dreams and talents. Use it to your the best of your advantage. And you're gonna be sending me thank you letters on Christmas. Life is too precious to be working for some motherfucking body. And they would never pay us for a motherfucking vacation. You tell these motherfuckers you want to go to Japan for a week, they gonna say, fuck you, get back to work. Well, fuck them, because if God is for us, who can be against us, baby? The sky's the limits for you, baby. The sky's the limits for you.
I'm going to see y'all pulling up in that Mercedes, baby. Don't trip. You got to claim it in Jesus' name. You can do all things through Christ which give you strength. Bump these people. Look on the back of a dollar bill. That motherfucker saying, God, we trust. Why are you putting your trust in this nine to five? It's okay to work it for a little bit, but work on your dreams and goals and look at that back of that dollar bill. I don't give a damn if you got to put it in a goddamn picture frame and stare at it all day. It says, in God, we trust. God looking at your faith. How big is your faith? Don't you let your faith. Don't I mean, don't you let your fear be bigger than your faith. Understand what I'm saying? Don't you let your fear be bigger than your faith. You got to keep pressing towards the mark of the price of the high calling in Jesus name. So don't trip. Because God rejection was for your protection. Just imagine if you was in the same situation, man. You would be battered and torn fucking apart. Looking crazy like a motherfucker. Looking like the rest of these motherfuckers out here. You done made it out of the situation these motherfuckers still stuck in. You better lift your hands and give God the praise. And don't you motherfucking look back. Because when it's all said and done, these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. And just know if you need a friend, you got it in me, baby. If you need prayer, you know you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you got the best motivational speaker in me. We the chosen ones. Gone. Stay tuned to the next video.